We're running game one. Oh, man. Aimbag got fans in the background yeah. pointing to the homies. All right, let's see if that works. Game one, Smashville. Okay. Get that double back air, and he's going to look for a landing trap. Not going to get it. So this matchup, I feel like it can go either way, man. You see a lot of stuff from all of Mario. Of course, he's going to have a strong zoning game. D Kong as well with the banana. Got a lot of them to confirm and a lot of things. One of the great things, though, is one of the greatest tools that Diddy Kong has in the neutral is his short hop fair. And it's not nearly as effective against a character like Olimar, who's just barely standing here and doesn't really have to deal with that nuisance. So we're going to see, you know, how Slee can work around the short stature of Olimar in order to get some solid conversions and, you know, potentially see this game one. Okay, good strings. Banana to down smash. Yeah, great down smash. All right, here's a leg Keeping game. Olimar off stage, so. Oh, that's going to wow, be it. Wow, that's yes. it. Just waiting for the right moment. Of course, one of the best confirms in the game. Do the trip. Straight out of a projectile that can be done out of shield. Lee looking for the extra credit here. Yeah, man. Getting a whole lot trying, of it. Trying not to overextend too much. Wow, good job. Doing a really good man. job. Yeah. Omar already at mid percent. Yeah, okay. He's going to get that forward smash. He's not going to die readily off that, but great disjointed with the yellow. And wow, this is actually looking kind of. Wow. Okay. Of course, Good Yellow's going to go through that again. You're going to see some Ollie perfect pivots for no reason. Don't dive like this. Yeah. If that had been a little bit later, it would have been the end. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is definitely not out of realms of doable for Angbad, especially given the fact that Olimar, a lot of strong damage racking tools. That's really what the character is known for in yeah. this game. And especially since uh, Angbad's playstyle is tends to be lean on the on the patient side, you know, counters yeah. a lot of aggressive play. Yeah. And since he does have a lot of time on the clock, he could just play patiently the rest of the match and see how Ooh. he's just racking up damage. And Laker colors are out, man. Until one of one of the, the best stock. best lineups for him to have. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is really good for Angbad, especially because. Uh, Diddy's aerials won't be able to just uh, beat out the Pikmin anymore. Yeah. Okay. He's just moving in and out, just doing damage on that shield. He's just waiting for something. Oh, and that's going to be a kill. Is. Yes. Down tilt to down smash. Good confirms. The good confirms. Great conversion right there. First Lee, he's going to be able to take that game one. Now, I know from Engbad, he said he's okay. If I beat Slee, I play Nairo. Not too worried about Slee focusing on Nairo. Tend to see a lot about some, you know, some like kind of mid to higher level players. And they'll focus on one opponent and not the one that they have they have in front of the right eyes. In front of them, right. And that might pose a threat to him. Yeah. So let's see what he's gonna do here. Okay, he's going to Omega. So he's gonna make a switch to his sheep. Sheik's definitely not no slouch either. You know, Angbad's uh, really confident in this matchup though, so his Sheik's gonna have to be uh, really, really on point. Yeah. Okay. Well on down smash. <laughs> the white Pikmin just swats him away, did nothing. Good pivot grab. Wow. Catching him on the roll in. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Okay. See, okay. Talk to him. And this, I talk see to this, him. I see this time and time again with Angbad. He'll he can lose a game, but oh man, it fires him up for yeah. the next one. Yeah, that was an assault, man. I said everything you just did to me. Especially because it's like, hey man, you trying to counter pick me with your sheik? I'll show you what I do to sheiks. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, great play right there. He's gonna throw those Pikmin. Wow. Those Pikmin can act as a wall sometimes, and she will just bounce right off them, allowing all of our, uh, you know, to have the need to go for air dodge or anything. Just allow the Pikmin to get hit, and he returns safely. And that's gonna give him too many options. Okay, we'll Good die from DI. that, but that shouldn't be that much of a thing. He's in a very good spot now. Ooh. As long as he Lost stays away. Control. Yeah. As long as he stays away, he's not going to really deal with too many things. Especially due to the fact that she's not going to have a 50 50 anymore. Or anything. Oh, good read on the tech chase. What do you feel that Slee is going to have to do for this game, potentially game three, that it looks like we're about to see right now? I mean, if he's going to stick to Sheik, he's going to have to, um, like we said earlier, it, 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 this is looking like a very uh, straightforward flow chart cheat. You know? yeah. And I think that's where Angbat is really just knowledgeable of the matchup, and he's going to be able to defeat him that way. Right. So he's either going to have to switch back, because he did just... Wow. He did just fine the last wow. game. Yeah. Obviously, he took it. Wow. Point blank, Monique. Can't handle that, man. You don't want any of that love. But, uh. Angbad raising the roof there. He's either going to have to change up his style with uh, with Sheik or, or go back to uh, his original pick. Yeah. Definitely felt like he was a lot more fluid with his Diddy Comp. Yeah. I think, it's, as you said before, it seemed kind of basic for a flow chart. And. Angbad understood that, yeah. and it seemed like he was still going for a lot of the older setups, man. This he, we are in a new world. He did. He we he, are he went for the down throw up air a lot, and it, it yeah. doesn't. It wasn't connecting. Yeah. Angbad knew how to get out of yeah. it, and it's just not even going to be a thing after the latest fashion. Yeah. But uh, even though she is a, a much worse matchup for Olimar, I, I would say Diddy Kong does just fine. Yeah. If this is his main, then he should stick to it. All right. Definitely agree with that. Okay, wow. Good upper and back air. A lot of damage. He is not dealing with these Pikmin thoroughly, especially with those whites. I've seen time and time again, whether it's been throw pummels or just a simple Pikmin toss, Angbat has been getting a lot of damage for free. You have to understand that in this matchup. Yeah. Angbat really picked up the momentum from the last game. Yep. Just continued it straight into this one. Slee is already at death percent. Yeah, he's gonna have to be careful. Yep, yep that roll's not gonna work out. And only 60%. Looks like Angbat hit the cruise control here. And it fell smoothly into this game three win. Good down smash. That crescent kick, man, that's so much range. Okay, yep. Uh, good Try to true guys. pivot with all that extra damage. Another one. Better detect that. Wow. I love the mix-up that Angbad went for there. Didn't necessarily get it, but if you are in right next to Olimar, in between wow. Olimar, when they go for down smash, both Pikmin will hit, and that thing does so much shield damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it break shields. Yeah, that thing's filthy. Wow, the whistle that. to down smash. Yeah, that was clean. Clean third strike. Are we going to see two stock? I think Angbad wants it. He wants it. Oh, Lakers. Right. Right. Is that going to yep. do it? Yes, sir. And that's going to be two it. Stock. Two stock for that game three. Yeah. And that is an answer. You know, it's, it's like you said. He was sleep sleeping on him a little bit at the beginning and then... He was like, oh, wait, I have this match in front of me? Okay, yeah, I, I got to play. I got to pay attention to this. Yeah. But uh, good stuff to both players.